welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, the objective type questions from the antenna parabolic antenna that is the reflector antenna so we will see the question the first one the radiation pattern of the parabolic antenna is omnidirectional figure of eight highly directional none of the above so the direction pattern of the parabolic uh, antenna it's a highly highly directional thing okay then the next one in general the attenuation per unit length in a coaxial cable uh, it increases with frequency decreases with frequency remains constant with frequency depends upon the types of uh, type of coaxial cable it can either increase or decrease so the attenuation attenuation means the signal reduction the loss of signal per unit length in a coaxial cable it increases with the frequency okay then the next one the antenna commonly used for the microwave link or loop antenna log periodic antenna parabolic dishes and rhombic antenna the antenna commonly used for the microwave link is it's a parabolic dishes okay then the next one reflector antennas are widely used to modify the radiation pattern of radiating element so this statement is true or false it's a true only the reflector antenna is used to modify the radiation pattern of the particular radiating element okay so there are different types of reflector antennas are there so the reflector antennas are classified into two thing one is the passive reflector another one is a active reflector okay uh, based on the type of radiating element the modification in the radiation pattern required so we may choose either active reflector or passive reflector okay uh, then the next one the pattern of reflector in a reflector antenna is called primary pattern secondary pattern reflector pattern none of the mention the pattern of reflector in reflector antenna in reflector antenna the pattern the radiation pattern of reflector it is called as a secondary pattern okay the primary pattern it is a uh, the primary pattern is nothing but the feed pattern okay so which uh, antenna we are using for feed the radiation pattern for that feed element it is called as a primary pattern so the radiation pattern of this reflecting antenna it is called as a secondary pattern then the next one in flared transmission line the radiation phenomenon increases due to dash in flaring so in flared transmission line like a horn antenna the radiation phenomenon increases due to dash in the flaring due to increase in the flaring if we are increasing the flaring the radiation phenomenon is also increases okay then the next one which conversion mechanism is performed by parabolic reflector antenna so in parabolic reflector antenna so which conversion is performed plane to spherical wave spherical to plane wave both a and b none of the above the spherical to plane wave uh, conversion is happened in parabolic reflector antenna then the next one ideally the reflector size is infinitely large it's a yes or no it's a yes only the reflector size ideal reflector size it's a infinite uh, the flat sheet is having infinitely large then the reflector it's a primary antenna it's a true or false it's a false only reflector antenna is not a primary antenna reflector is a secondary antenna reflector it is nothing but a secondary antenna okay then the corner reflector is better than plane reflector in collimating the electromagnetic energy it's a true or false the corner reflector is better than plane reflector in collimating the electromagnetic energy it's a true only okay instead of uh, the plane reflector if you are using the corner reflector the waves are uh, uh, that is uh, the propagation and the focus is very uh, good thing okay so it's a uh, true only then the efficiency of the corner reflector is reduced when the spacing of feed element becomes small it's a true or false okay so the efficiency of the corner reflector is reduced uh, when the spacing of feed element becomes a very small it's a true only then the next one 
for square corner reflector the flaring angle is dash okay so for a square corner reflector the flaring angle it's a 90 degree okay if the uh, in that reflector if uh, it's a 180 degree means it's a flat sheet reflector for a square corner reflector the flaring angle is 90 degree okay then the number of images formed for a square corner reflector using the method of images are dash okay so and how many images how many number of images formed for a square corner reflector using the method of image method okay uh, so how many images formed means there are three images formed in a square corner reflector then the next one the number of images formed for a 30 degree corner reflector using the method of images are dash okay so it's a seven if uh, the square the corner reflector is having the angle is 30 degree means at the time the number of images formed is seven then the number of images formed for a 60 degree corner reflector using the method of images it's a five okay uh, if the angle is uh, 90 degree means the number of images formed is three if the angle is 60 degree means the number of images formed is five if the angle is 30 degree means uh, the number of images formed in a corner reflector is seven uh, then the next one a single narrow beam of radiation results in square corner reflector for spacing of s is equal to dash okay so in a single narrow beam of radiation in square corner reflector uh, for the spacing is lambda by 2 okay so yes s is equal to lambda by 2 at the time we will get a narrow beam of a single narrow beam of radiation and two narrow beam of radiation results in square corner reflector for spacing s is equal to lambda okay if uh, the spacing is lambda by 2 means at the time we will get single narrow beam of radiation if the spacing is lambda means we will get two narrow beam of radiation then the three narrow beam of radiation results in square corner reflector for spacing of s is equal to dash okay if the spacing is three lambda by two means we will get three narrow beam of radiation okay then the next one a parabola is a three dimensional curve it's a true or false it's a false okay parabola it's not a three dimensional curve then the parabolic reflector is different from parabolic okay it's a true or false parabolic reflector is different from parabolic it's a false uh, that is a parabolic means parabolic as well as uh, uh, this parabolic reflector both are same only uh, dish antenna and a parabolic are one and the same okay dish antenna the other name of dish antenna and a parabolic both are same only okay then the parabola is a three dimensional curve okay it is yes parabolic it's not a parabola is a three dimensional curve it's a false parabola is not a three dimensional curve but a parabolid is a three dimensional curve okay then the parabolic antenna is commonly used at which frequency region 500 halo hertz 50 mega hertz 5000 mega hertz 50 hertz 5000 megahertz the parabolic antenna is used in a microwave range okay so in a 5000 megahertz we are using the parabolic antenna next one the permits principle must be followed to get a plane wavefront from the dish antenna it's a true or false it's a true the permit principle may be followed to get the plane wavefront from the dish antenna okay in any dish antenna arrangement the parabolic reflector will act as a primary antenna it's a false okay in any dish arrangement the parabolic reflector it is acting as a secondary antenna okay so here they are mentioning primary antenna so it's a false then in any dish arrangement the parabolic reflector will act as a secondary antenna it's a true okay so in a dish arrangement the parabolic reflector it is a secondary antenna that uh, dish is a primary antenna the horn is a primary antenna the next one the power gain of the parabolid is dash okay so you have to remember this answer the power gain of the parabolid is 
6.4 d divided by lambda the whole squared okay then the directivity of the paraboloid is 9.87 into d divided by lambda the whole squared okay so these are all the standard answer you have to uh, memorize the next one the generally used feed antenna for the paraboloid is horn antenna so usually in the reflector uh, thing uh, that is uh, the reflector antenna it's a secondary element so the primary element uh, in that arrangement is the feed antenna so generally used feed antenna it's a horn antenna the horn antenna is generally used as a feed element for the paraboloid okay the horn and hyperbola are used in dash feed of dish antennas in a casa grind feed okay so there are different types of feed is there offset feed uh, front feed back feed the uh, different feed is there the horn and hyperbola are used in casa grind feed of dish antennas the disadvantage of the parabolic reflector is dash the disadvantage of the parabolic reflector is spill over effect okay so that is the disadvantage of the parabolic reflector then the parabolic antenna operates in the frequency range of dash so you know the parabolic uh, antenna it operates uh, in the frequency range of uh, microwave and uh, gigahertz frequency that is microwave means in the range of gigahertz we are using this parabolic antenna okay then the next one if the directivity of the square corner receiving antenna is 20 and operating at a wavelength of 0.25 meter the effective aperture of square corner antenna is dash okay so here for one antenna the directivity is given and the operating wavelength is given so we have to find the effective aperture so already uh, these type of question already we discussed in the first unit so you know the effective aperture formula is that effective aperture in terms of the directivity is that La the effective aperture is equal to lambda squared by 4 pi into directivity okay so you just substitute the directivity is 20 and this lambda is 0.25 in this formula so we will get the answer is 0.4 meter squared and this is the answer then the next one in casa grind feed the size of the hyperbol uh, hyperbol uh, reflector depends on its distance from the horn feed mouth diameter of horn and frequency okay so in a casa grind feed the size of the hyperbolid reflector it depends on the distance from the horn feed mouth diameter of horn and frequency it's a true only okay then the size of the hyperbolid reflector is small if its distance from the feed antenna is small if the distance from the feed antenna is small means the size of the hyperbolic reflector is also small it is also true then the next one the casa grind feed is best suited for dash application the casa grind feed is best suited for low power receiver application so while uh, where wherever we are handling the low power receiver application we have to use this casa grind feed okay then the disadvantage of the casa grind feed is the obstruction of electromagnetic energy by hyperbolic reflector it's a true or false it's a true only the disadvantage of the casa grain feed is that some of the electromagnetic energy is obstructed by the hyperbolic reflector it's a true okay this is the disadvantage of the casa grain feed okay so these are all the some of the questions about uh, the parabolic reflector antennas okay so thanks for watching my channel and keep watching so already i posted uh, the nine videos uh, uh, except this already i posted the nine videos for the antenna and microwave engineering mcq okay so if you want to learn means i will give the link for uh, those videos in the description box and i call you can check okay so thank you